Guys, come on up, guys, come on up. On behalf of the, on behalf of the uh, 2022 Ravens, we want to uh, welcome the champion, the world champion 2012 Ravens, okay? The world champs. <laughs> Makes me think what we say sometimes, you know, the days are long, right? You know, and you find that as you get out into life too, the days are long, things are tough, you work hard, right? You take care of your family. But the years are short, are they not? They, are. they fly by, Bobby, they fly by. And the next thing you know, you're looking back, right? You're looking back and you're saying, man, where did the time go? But you, if you look back and you say, those were some good times and I met some good people and I did some good things, right? Then it's all worthwhile. So uh, that's, what makes me, that's what makes me feel. And well, the other thing I feel about with this team right here, these guys, I think, I know you'd be proud of these guys. These guys, these guys are ravens, all right? These guys stand on the foundation that you all stacked day after day, long day after long day, all right? Quick year after quick year. They stand on that foundation. They take pride in that. And they understand the standard, and they want to stack the standard even higher, right? They want to take it to that next level. So, Coach Caldwell, you always say the five Bs are speaking, right? Be brief, brother, be brief. But I'm going to ask you, come up here if you would, Coach, offensive coordinator for that team, and maybe you and maybe a couple of the guys who feel it, what was one thing maybe about that team that you felt was something that made them champions? Yeah, first of all, it's a real pleasure to be here, to have an opportunity to stand amongst champions as well. Um, all these guys back here probably tell you some of the same things, but one of the things that jumped out at me was the fact that they believed in one another. They had a lot of great fun, but they believed in one another. They believed in the system. They believed in the coaches. They believed in everything that John taught and assimilated um, to the rest of us. But that's the big thing that, that, that jumps out at you. And oftentimes, that's the thing that kind of holds you back every once in a while when you don't have that true belief. I'll tell you an interesting story real quick. Um, when I became the offensive coordinator, struggling, trying to get myself together, Tara uh, uh, Suggs walked into my office and says, Coach, we don't care what you call, we got your back. That still resonates, right? But that's the kind of faith, kind of belief that this team had. Hey, Y'all got a good foundation, you got great leadership. Hey, I'm looking at Tucker right there. Hey, you got a good leg right there, you know? <laughs> hey, you know what? Hey, just lean on one another. You say some, mean it. Say some, do it. Um, you know, don't put it off. Don't um, take a shortcut. You know, put that work in because you can only take out the bank what you put in. You know, I was actually just thinking about the year that we won the Super Bowl, and I think it was it was late in the year, and we lost three straight games. Am I right about that? And uh, you know, there was so many highs and lows to that season, and to lose three straight games. And I think it was, I think we had five games left. We lost three straight, and we had two more, and we had to beat the Giants to win the division. And then we would make the play. That was just to make the playoffs. And so I think about that time, and you know, we were just on the cusp of not even making the playoffs the year. Josh Bynes, what's up, man? Um, the year that we, we won the Super Bowl. And to think back of that, that's, it's a crazy time, but you got to credit the, the guys in that locker room at that time because nobody pointed the finger at one another. It didn't divide us. To lose three straight games at that point in the season, and I mean, we were a good team that year. So at one point, I think we were nine and two, something like that. I don't know. My memory's gone. But to lose three straight games and be on the brink of not even making the postseason, nobody blinked an eye. And we came back into M&T Bank Stadium and beat the Giants pretty handily, and that got us going. And so, like I think about your guys' season, and you've had some close losses and all that kind of stuff, games that you know could have gone either way. Um, but great teams never point the finger. Great teams are the teams that, that galvanize together during tough times because you're always going to have highs and lows in football. It's just part of the deal. And uh, don't blink. You guys are unbelievable team. I miss my son's right here, Decker. I mean, where's Lamar at? He's like, Lamar is his idol. He's playing quarterback, and uh, all he wanted to do was meet Lamar. What's up, Lamar? I mean, who cares about Tucker? We just want Lamar, right? <laughs> tough times happen in football. Football's a tough sport. You don't blink, you stay together, you don't point the finger. Everybody's accountable for themselves and keep chugging along and good things happen. So. I want to hear from Vontae Lee. I want to hear from Vontae Lee. Come on, Lee. 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 Lee
Hey, man. Hey, the guys just said basically everything. You know, uh, I was just picking back off what the guys said. <laughs> you just got to believe in each other, and the only people that matter is the people that's in the locker room. When y'all go in the locker room, we shut the doors. That's the only people that matter. That's the only voices that matter. So you know, stick together. Um, go out there, stick together, and. Um, like you said, galvanize as a team and just go out there and work. That's it. You already know what to do. Just go out there and do it now. That's easy. It's simple. Where's Anquan Bolden, man? I ain't got much to say, man. Just, um, I mean, y'all already a great group of guys, man. Y'all just got to believe in y'all self. You know what I'm saying? And, like, believe in the coaches. And for us, that's the reason we won the way that we did. You know what I'm saying? Like, I tell a lot of people, actually, the year before we won the Super Bowl, I think we had more talent on the team. Yes, sir. But we weren't a team. And then we came back the, the following year, and from the first day we hit training camp, that's all we talked about, winning it all. And through that year, we, we dealt with a lot. I remember one game we had probably two guys that was on our starting defense at the beginning of the year starting, and the rest of the guys were guys who had just come in off the street. But we were determined to, you know what I'm saying, to win. We bought into what the coaches said. System, we bought into it. We believed in one another, played for the guys right next to us. And at the end of the year, you know what I'm saying, we accomplished our goal. It wasn't easy, but it was worth it. So, I mean, y'all guys put in the work. Y'all have the talent. Y'all have the system. Y'all have all of that, man. Y'all just got to believe in it now. On behalf of all of us, on behalf of all of us, you know, we all know what kind of an organization we have here, right? And I say this from the bottom of my heart with the deepest gratitude on behalf of every player, every coach, every wife, every mother, every, every child here. Thank you for what you do for us and for what you built for us and what you established and what you sacrificed for us. It means everything. Right, guys? How about for this guy right here? Come on, guys. Get a hand in here. Your kids, get in here tight. Get a hand in here. They say once a raven, always raven, baby. Ravens on three! One, two, three! Let's go! 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 Let's go!